doing, Timmy? I actually kind of need to take a poop before we. Dude, I'm around. right there with you. <laughs> Who's first? Rock, paper, scissors? Battleships. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, MFers? Welcome back to another very early morning on the water. It is the dog days of summer. The high today is like 103 or something. When I left the house this morning at 345, oh, there he goes. He's out of here. But anyways, when I left the house this morning at 345, it was 87 degrees outside. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. So naturally, we got up. We got a very early start this morning. We're at a little lake out here um, that is loaded with good sized fish. Been hearing a lot of really good things about this place and I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys asking what baits do you throw during the hottest months of the year? So hopefully we're gonna go out, show you guys and teach you what you can be throwing right now. Also along with that, I got some very exciting news. About a month and a half, two months ago I guess it's been, at the middle of May, um, we released, me and Six Cents, in collaboration, a slaunch sack. And what that was, it was six different baits that I felt in the exact colors and baits and everything catch the most fish for me in May and June. I know the Sixth Sense website has like dozens and dozens of different types of baits and now soft plastics as well. Um, so it can be harder for you guys to figure out what to go out and get. So we put them in a bag, we, we did it as a discount and you can use my MF10 discount code for the best baits for May and June. Well, guess what? We went ahead and did a late summer bag as well. Late summer slaunch sack right freaking here. It's covered with bugs. I'm getting swarmed by bugs right now, but I'm gonna show you what is in this, the bag for July and August so you guys can go catch some daggone fish. Okay, comes in this nice sexual bag. Oh yes. All right, first bait right here. You guys see me throw all the time. Swim jig. Last month we went with a bluegill color. This month, you know, we got a lot of algae and stuff in a lot of our lakes. This guy's really gonna stand out. Three eighth ounce size. Pa pow. Also, you guys that like to power fish, you want to fish shallow. This guy dives um, about five to six feet. This is the mini mag. Comes in a chartreuse color. That is a freaking killer. I'm gonna get a couple of these baits tied on today. Actually, this is what's gonna freaking work this morning. You know, slick calm conditions. It's pretty windy right now, but if we get a calm bank, this guy's an absolute badass score. We got a shad color of the splashback 70 popper. Poppers are really sneaky bait this time of year when it's really really hot outside. Getting those shade lines, grass lines, stuff like that. Boop, boop. This guy, boom. This is a newer bait in the Cloud 9 series. This is the C6, and we got it in a nice natural shad color. We got a lot of lakes with offshore rock piles and brush piles and like five to 10 feet of water. This guy's an absolute freaking killer. Tighter wobble than the uh, the mini mag crankbait and a uh, smaller size, really, really good bait fish imitator. Of course, you gotta throw a, a flipping dragon jig of some type in here. It's tough to see right now because you know, the sun hasn't come up yet, but this is a green pumpkin, black and blue combination skirt, half ounce size of the hybrid jig. It's called Darkwater Craw. This is an absolute freaking killer. I'm tying this guy on right now. I'm gonna fish it all different types of cover today. And last but not least, it's super, super hot outside. So of course, we need this. We're gonna throw a koozie in here for all your sodas that you guys are drinking out on the water. Boom, that's the last guy. There you have it. There is the July and August Slaunch Sack, $45 retail value. We're gonna sell it for $39.99, and you can use my promo code MF10 to go get that. And I mean, go catch a bunch of fish if you guys wanna do that. If you're into that sort of thing, hit the link at the top of the description. Pick one of those up. I think we sold like 500 last month. So amazing you guys are out there catching fish on your Slaunch Sack. You don't gotta go through the hassle of trying to pick through the millions of six cents basic colors, although it's kind of fun to spend a couple hours on the website. If you don't got much time, you want the process streamlined for you, hit the link at the top of the description. Go pick that Melican Fishing Slaunch Sack up. Okay, let's get the boat launch. Get right on out there. Start sticks up. one on on the rocky pile it's not a big one but it's a starter fish <whistles> oh man 10 inch worming good, 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 good. that little shit not the caliber we're after but catch his ass oh we improved in size. Oh, your shad just killed Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, that's a good one. What's that guy on? Das Beef. A biver. Come here! Atta babe. Look how pale that fish is. Seriously. 
Super prale. Maybe a little frail. I don't know. It's prale. It's a big mouth. Yeah. All right. A little offshore-ish. Ish. That was kind of random. Did he? Oh, my God. On slack line. Just boom. Beauty. Four pounder guy. Four pounder guy. Sweet. Here. Oh, you got your blade No PB. Actually, that might have been on a rock. He's on still. There we go. Jesus. Seemed like he was bigger for a second. Freaking broke his face off, tearing him out of there. He might die. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, dude. The old worm bite. First time using a worm. My line's probably destroyed. But we're just going to risk it and break off an actual big one. You bet. Ah, just pulling them off today. Two in a row. That's good though. Done some scanning. Found some offshore rock. Tied this guy on out of my flaunches sack. Kerplow. Let's get a big one. That was a baby one. So. <laughs> Came back. Wasn't that small either. Nope. I have a fish on. Catch his ass. Rocking piles. Piles and rocks. Little pond guy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Josh, <laughs> get down there and get that for me. <laughs> I'm going to need some scissors for that nonsense. What the balls did I just catch? It's like a bag of silt. Oh, there's a body in it. <laughs> it is a jacket. Oh, that was yours. It blew out, Josh. <laughs> it went downstream. <laughs> They're still in good shape, though. Good quality jacket, you know? Oh, there was one on it. Josh, you might want to tie on a pit boss or something. I heard they're working. Yeah, he's pretty skinny. It's weird, we've caught some shorter ones that are super healthy. Then you get dudes like that. At least we're getting some things figured out finally damn that's a gnarly little pile yay hey. another one dang they're on it they are on it they're doubled up oh. i want to catch one of these that i hook with my secret slaunch sack crankbait Mine's like dead halfway in, I think. Like cookies. Oh god, that was terrifying. I'm glad my hands are fast ish in my old age. He was not coming off ever. Yeah, they're twins. Twinning! Is in fact large. Great. Come here, bud. Just waking up the the universe out here this morning. See, then that one's fat. He's built right. I'll take him. Yay! Look at that. 
worming. Offshore worming. Makes my heart warm. Worm. Warm? Thanks. Finally found a better one. I guess Brian caught a better one too. But that doesn't count. <laughs> Alright, let's get this stupid thing back in the water. Thanks for playing, bud! Sweet. Okay, we've been fishing for a couple hours now and we're finally starting to get dialed in a little bit. We tried some different stuff this morning, tried some top water, fished off some deeper points. But it wasn't until we started scanning around a little bit and on the Lake Contour map actually that's online, there's like these little rock humps and they're not like giant rock piles. They're humps that are probably like 10 feet across that kind of come up and there's just rock on like one little spot of them. And that's where like all the fish have been. Brian was catching them good on a Texas rigged creature bait. This has been my bait of choice right here. Old 10 inch worm, I think this is plum apple. And uh, Josh has been getting snagged back here. <laughs> <laughs> Some days you're doing it. Some days you just really aren't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, things are starting to pick up. We've definitely had a, a increased activity level as the day's gone on. It's 8.50 in the morning. So we're gonna give this a few more hours uh, and I think the bite should be picking up. We got two good ones now, um, two four plus pounders. It's time to get three more. Gillikin, so do I have one. Ooh. Good God. Did you hear my rod jump? It went dong. Oh, Jesus, dude. You see how long that thing was? Oh my God. That was the hardest bite I've had in a long time. And I really don't want him to jump again. Oh my God. Dude, I freaking flipped it in there and it was like dong. And he is like skin hooked on his lip. Ugh. I knew that would happen. He was just barely hooked. He was like 22 inches. Yeah, that was a big one. That was big. <laughs> we still and him. saw some brush on the pan optics. At least we saw him. If he would have run off like that and I not seen him, I'd have thought it was a 19 pounder minimum. Whew, I got the heart racing. Let's do that a few thousand more times. There's one. Get that hooked, of course. Jesus Christ, how does he get hooked? Good. And the last one doesn't. Snag. Huh. They're kind of hard. They must have like concrete inside of them or something. You'd think there'd be some fish. This is all I had to do. Yeah, just be like, oh, now I caught an entire today. Fish. And fish. Boom. The patch the tires were made of. Don't hurt yourself. Don't you do it. We're not making a trip to the emergency room. Okay, on we go. Just kidding. Kidding? Oh! oh it grew! Oh god, what a big mouth. It's definitely a large mouth. Wow, look how long that fish is. That's a beaut. Josh just caught the uh, biggest one we've boated so far today. I'm guessing, yeah, 5.1, 5.2. I think you're the closest. 225. 445, actually. Kilograms? Surprising. Yeah, Not I, a very heavy fish. No. He's got a giant, giant head. Giant head. You bet! Really thought she was gonna weigh more, but still four and a half. Pa pow, Brian. Pa pow. I'm gonna go back around this sprint trap and switch for all Ah! That one felt better. I don't think he's on either. Oh 
Oh yeah, he is. You're out. Oh no. Oh god. Oh how? He was right at the surface too. He died. Heartbroken. Fishing and stuff. Worms! That's the one that comes out. They are locked on. 10 inch worm, 10 inch bass. 10 inch worm. That might be 10 and a half inch bass. I'll give you the doubt of the benefit. <laughs> It's the baby. We caught him twice earlier. <laughs> Would you relax and release fish properly, Josh? You don't need to hump every fish before you throw it back, you know. Our boat's not on the water anymore.